Welcome to the Midday News Bulletin on Channel Niskot. First, the headlines. An epidemic breakout at Vaishali Ghaziabad could catch residents and authorities unprepared. Techno-savvy youth tend to misuse technology. Vendor unions protest against corporate fruit and vegetable retailing, but street vendors seem unaffected. And now for the news in detail. The unhygienic sanitary conditions in Vaishali Ghaziabad pose a major health hazard that could trigger off an epidemic breakout at any time and neither the citizens nor the Ghaziabad City Corporation have realized the urgency in addressing this issue. Our correspondent reports. Vaishali streets strewn with decaying waste food, stagnant water and litter from the many fast food restaurants and street vendors have become an ideal nesting place for waterborne, insect-borne and infectious skin diseases. Here, whoever is in this area, like the shopkeepers, the vendors, the people who are coming and going, all are responsible. Until the penalty is imposed, we don't listen to them. The rest of the people are watching, the rest of the people are watching, the rest of the people are watching. They are doing it themselves, so what can we do? Who exactly is doing anything about it? I'm not doing anything about it. I'm sitting here happily eating. Why should the shopkeeper care? If the shopkeeper doesn't care, if I don't care, why would the municipal cooperation care about it? According to Dr. K.K. Tyagi, Junior Health Inspector of Vaishali, the huge task force of the Gazeba City Corporation organizes regular clearance of garbage in each sector under the supervision of the City Sanitary Inspector. We have given a letter this one to all the shopkeepers that they should not throw it and they should cooperate with us because in the morning our sweeper comes and he uh, clears all the things but they come at 10.30 and again they are throwing the garbage on the roads. So the, uh, that looks like that it is not been cleaned. Even though the Ghaziabad City Corporation has made shop owners accountable, no penalties have yet been imposed on those who flout the norms. However, health officials at the city corporation say that the state government is soon to impose fines on defaulters who abdicate their social responsibility. One hopes that this assurance of the corporation is not a mere cover-up of the lack of action on the part of the authorities. If it is, then the citizens of Vaishali who are sitting on an epidemic time bomb will themselves have to rise and act quickly if they are to prevent the explosion of a major health hazard. This is Jeffrey reporting for Channel Niskot. When the unions continue to battle with state governments to prevent the entry of corporate giants, both Indian and multinational, into retailing of fruit and vegetables in cities. However, the street vendors who are at the heart of this controversy seem least affected. Vendor unions like Roji Bachav Samiti claim that corporate retailing would drive 40 million street vendors to poverty and affect the 200 million people dependent on them. However, some government and corporate officials argue that since the market needs are huge, the mushrooming retail stores couldn't possibly affect the livelihood of these vendors. बल्कि मॉल से हम लोग सस्ता ही माल देते हैं और यहाँ मॉल में तो जैसे फ्रेश माल नहीं मिलता यहाँ पे सब फ्रेश माल मिलेगा और ग्राहकों को भी इससे संतुष्ट है ये ग्राहक इसलिए वरना यहाँ पे ये जो लगी हुई है दुकानें ये अभी तक लगती नहीं कस्टमर्स टू इन जनरल स्टेट देयर प्रेफरेंस फॉर स्ट्रीट वेंडर्स ओवर रिटेल चेन रेट इज चीपर इन दी मॉल बट एज फॉर एज द्वालिटी इज कंसर्न सो वी विल गेट दी गुड क्वालिटी फ्रेशनेस ओवर हियर वही जाके हमें फर्स्ट पार्किंग करना पड़ता है फिनर चेकआउट की बहुत लाइन होती है यहाँ बार्गेनिंग कर लेते हैं वहाँ नहीं कर पाते हैं इनको फ्रेश बनाने कोई किसी भी प्रकार के केमिकल का इस्तेमाल नहीं होता है मॉल में जो है थोड़ा फ्रेश नहीं होता यहाँ माल फ्रेश होता है और दूसरा चीप भी होता है यहाँ वहाँ पैकेट बने होते हैं कम बढ़ती भी नहीं हो सकता जैसे हमें पाव चाहिए तो हम पाव भी ले सकते हैं किलो चाहिए किलो ले सकते हैं और फिर दूसरा घर के पास भी है Vendor unions have petitioned the government to cancel licenses given to corporates like Walmart Bharti, Reliance, Birla, Tata, Subiksha and Sahara. In response, the Bihar, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal governments prescribed conditions for corporates running malls, while the Kerala state government has enacted a law to prohibit malls from entering retail business in essential commodities. India seems to be witnessing a paradigm shift. 
Corporate retail chains in cities are predicted to increase from the current 4% to 22% by 2010, with claims to provide direct employment to over 5 lakh citizens and indirect job opportunities to more than a million people. Despite the corporate retail chains, the local fruit and vegetable vendors who have for decades dominated Indian retailing continue to be in business as they specifically address customer needs. This leads one to conclude that the protests against corporate retailers are actually engineered by the middlemen who primarily constitute the vendor unions and who would be the ones really affected and eventually eliminated. This is Vidya reporting for Channel Niscot. From mere talking devices in 1994, cell phone applications have tremendously evolved. With 1.5 million new subscribers each month, the Indian wireless market has boomed to now exceed 200 million users. Yet, while the cell phone is a lifeline for some and an indispensable part of business for many, to certain others, especially the younger generation, it has become a plaything for trivial use and much abuse. The nuisance caused by SMSs, MMSs, ringtones and FM music in schools and colleges has become a cause for serious concern. All sorts of MSs and clips are being transferred from here and there and you can see that happening in the classrooms itself. They make it all the more interesting because sometimes when you are not listening to the lecture, it's like we have something to do. This students, they are at very immature stage. Any student found with cell phone in the class, the cell phone is forfeited. Even more alarming are the vulgar photographs and video clips captured by the students on their embedded cell cameras that violate personal privacy. Guys take a pic and uh, use it in a very wrong way, say, uh, sending it to the website pages, using it as a porn site. As per the Supreme Court, they have given this order to the 10 personal level classes. There should be no camera, phone, there should be no mobile. You can get a digicam to college and then click pictures with it or you can get a camera phone and then click pictures with it. It's the same thing. Banning a camera phone in college, it does not solve the purpose. With service providers dropping call rates to an all-time low, youth idle away time with endless chatter. Publicly, it is very good that the companies are giving the money. The users are growing. It's a plus point. But it's been a misuse. In the arcade, everyone is using unnecessary things. And this abuse of the cell phone continues even while riding and driving. The people are getting hurt. And in the form of the car, they are getting hurt. To many youth, the cell phone culture translates into a freedom of expression, one that is a fashion statement and a status symbol. However, school and college authorities in several states have banned the use of cell phones, much to the protest of the students. Yes, their rights have been violated because it, I mean, in today's world, it is of course a necessity for everybody. Girls are traveling here and there and you can see loads of incidents, so many things happening around and around. This college, it's quite away from where we stay. So if our parents or our friends want to get in touch with us, there's no other uh, way to get in touch except having a cell phone. Though the use of handheld cell phones while driving has been made a punishable traffic offence, the Indian Information Technology Act is yet to do the same for the misuse of camera phones. Laws and penalties, however, are mere deterrents. It's time that the advertisements of the manufacturers and service providers also formed users in the right use of this great yet potent technology. And before we end this news bulletin, our headlines once again. An epidemic breakout at Vaishali Ghaziabad could catch residents and authorities unprepared. Techno-savvy youth tend to misuse technology. Vendor unions protest against corporate fruit and vegetable retailing, but street vendors seem unaffected. That's all for this news bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Have a good day.